I'm going to be talking about Chinese culture and traditions by Tiffany Lowry. Hold on, she got it. She's got the scenic, though. Yeah. You know how to send it? I don't know. Diversity and depth. China is one of the oldest and most diverse civilizations in the world with a rich and profound culture that spans 3,600 years of written history. Chinese New Year. Chinese New Year also known as Lunar New Year or Spring Festival, is the most important festival in China. It was traditionally a time to honor deities and ancestors, and it also has become a time to feast and visit family members. First legend states that the Chinese New Year stemmed from an ancient battle against the Nyan and terrifying beast that showed up every Lunar New Year's Eve to eat people and livestock. To scare away the monster people, displayed red paper, burned bamboo, lit candles, and wore red clothes. These traditions have been continued until the present time. The Forbidden City. The Forbidden City was the palatial heart of China. As one of the five most important pa palaces in the world, the grand halls and walls proudly displayed the incense and traditional Chinese architecture fitting for the capital city of the world's largest nation. There are no trees in the outer court because imperials thought they would overshadow or disrupt the majesty of the atmosphere. Birds cannot land on the palace roof, which have a special design to retain the cleanliness and magnificence of the Forbidden City. Eating and drinking. In China, eating is more of a communal activity in contrast to the West where everyone orders their own meal, which arrives on a plate and is eaten individually. Food is generally ordered dish by dish in China to be shared by all presents at, ta at the table. Each diner has their own small rice bowl into which food from the plates and bowl in the center of the table is placed using chopsticks or perhaps serving spoons a bit like a sit-down buffet perhaps. Eating noisily and with one's mouth open may be considered rude. However, slurping, smacking the lips and leaving the mouth open when eating can be viewed as demonstrating enjoyment of the food and a friendly atmosphere in China. Refrigerated soft drinks are widely available, but beware ice cubes made from tap water, as most tap water in China is unpotable and should be at least boiled before drinking. Beer is very popular in China. The other popular alcoholic drinks is rice wine, which can be very strong. How has the Chinese culture affected tourism? According to an article by Li Junzhou, Purpose with the Worldwide Growth of the Chinese Tourism Market, a number of studies have emerged that attempt to understand the phenomenon, including the influence of Chinese culture on Chinese tourist behavior. The Chinese culture has caused an increase in income for the country of China. Many Americans travel worldwide, but China is more popular than others. China is rich in culture and the overall living experience. Yeah, they went back over the top. Yeah. Marriage in China. The case with most societies yeah. in primitive times, the concept of marriage did not exist. People of a single tribe did not have fixed spouses and they could have multiple sexual partners. Marriage in ancient Chinese culture went through a lot of changes. Initially, people bearing the same surnames were allowed to get married. Marriage between siblings was allowed to. Another type of marriage that was popular was a sororic marriage. A sororic marriage always allows a man to marry his wife's sister or cousins while she is alive or when she dies. 
many of the customs costumes related to marriage were formulated during the Han Dynasty. The exchange of betrothal gifts from the groom's family to the bride's family and diary from the bride's family began during this time. Betrothal gifts were so important that a marriage without these was considered dishonorable. Once this exchange of gifts took place, the bride was taken to the groom's ancestral home where she would continue to live even after her husband's death. Mm. Traditional Chinese clothing, as stated in the article, since the 1990s, Chinese intra entrepreneurs in the textile and apparel industry have confronted rapid change and increasing pressure stemming from the mature foreign entrance and changing local demand. Traditional Chinese clothing is colored, colored women's dresses that have bright colors with certain patterns on them. As for the men, they wear button-up jackets with bright colors as well. Certain suits have designs on the buttons. Chinese religions. The four major religions in China, Buddhism, Taoism, Islam, and Christianity, each have a long history of influence. Buddhists make up the large religious communities in China. Taoism is native to China and has a history of more than 1,700 years. It is considered a polytheistic religion and is still quite influential in rural areas. The Islam do not eat poor dogs, horses, donkey, or mules. Christianity began to make their way into China very early. It was after the Sino-British uh, Opium War in 1840 that Christianity developed rapidly in China. Chinese, Catholic, and Christian communities grew in number and influence across the country. Heritage sites. One of the largest religious buildings complex in the Temple of Heaven is known for its religious symbolic layout. Rejoice symbolic layout. Peculiar particular structure and magnificent decoration. It is the most representative example of Chinese ritual architecture. Imperials of the Ming and Qing, Qing dynasty wor worshipped the gods of heaven and prayed for a good harvest there. The design of the main building is a combination of circles and squares, which symbolize the belief that heaven is round and earth is square. Chinese architecture. Since ancient times, the people built wooden buildings, structures built with rammed earth, and buildings and structures built with stone or brick. Each of these kinds of construction had different features. The buildings were built to survive the frequent earthquake, typhoon, and blood disasters and to be easier to rebuild, along with survivability and ease of renovation. The buildings reflected and helped to propagate social order and religion. Chinese language. What makes Chinese language particularly fascinating is its written form. Chinese characters are the only pictorial written form in modern use. They are rich in symbolism and many have stories behind them. Chinese characters are especially beautiful when pinned with a brush in the traditional way. And to the right, you will see where I got some pictures of the different types of writing and the meaning of them. Mongolian ethnic group. The Mongolian ethnic group is the most well known in China, as stated in the article language, is one of the official 
criteria of defining a nationality in socialist China, but it's simulated simultaneously has been sus subjected to an ideology, ideology of contempt. The Mongolian language is mostly used in China and most of the population speaks it. China's population by national census. This is my growth charts on the population. And this the information is important because to keep the culture and traditions alive, the more people that is involved and in China, the population grows by at least 100 million people every 10 years. So as long as the population keeps growing, the culture and traditions will continue to be around for years and years to come. Chinese ancient currency. In ancient China, coins were the main form of currency. These coins can be made of copper, iron, lead, gold, and silver with different shapes, weight, and marks. The Dragon Boat Festival. The Dragon Boat Festival is a traditional Chinese holiday which falls on the fifth day of the fifth lunar month, which is the late May or June on the Georgian calendar. Dragon Boat Festival is one of the four top traditional Chinese festivals, along with the Spring Festival, Tomb Sweeping Day, and Mid-Autumn Festival. Many believe that Dragon Boat Festival is celebrated to commemorate a famous Chinese poet and minister known for his patriotism and contribute com contributions to classical poetry who eventually became a national hero. hero. <laughs> Sisters Meal Festival. Sisters Meal Festival is an important festival of the Maya minority people in China. It's a celebration of love and spring. It was regarded as the oldest Valentine's Day of China. This traditional festival falls on the fifth day of the third month in the lunar calendar, and the celebration usually lasts for three days. The Great Wall of China. The Great Wall of China is one of the greatest sites in the world, the longest wall in the world, and inspiring feat of ancient defensive architectures. It is winding path over a rugged country and steep mountains take it some great scenery. The Great Wall of China has history of more than 2,300 years. Chinese norms. Chinese people see English words as pictures and memorize them as such. Chinese shop assistants rarely greet, think, or smile at customers. Chinese people smile when they're embarrassed. Chinese people repeat English words or leave out syllabuses. Chinese people don't buy gifts for people who they don't know well. And then these are my references. So, Mama, what you ask about? Yeah. If I do, Mom, she got she's got me curious and she's got interest. Can I get her a CNA to come to her house? 